Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's time for me to go and pee in this, which can only mean one thing. It's time to go and see the midwife. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold. It's currently minus one, absolutely freezing. Minus 1.5 actually. Um, I'm just warming up the car, ready to go see the midwife. It's my 31 week checkup today. 31 weeks. Hopefully my small pot of wee will not freeze before we arrive. But yes, um, I will update you after the appointment, what happened, where we are on the growth chart with my bump. Not that it really means anything, but yes, hopefully everything will be fine. But let's see how it goes. Ruth here from Mediocre Mama channel. I hope you're doing really well. So I have just come back from my 31 week checkup with the midwife. Not a lot to tell you this week, to be honest. We just checked blood pressure, which was fine. Checked my urine, which was fine. And then measured the bump again and plotted it on the growth chart. Um, so measurements so far are fine. Measuring right in the middle. In the middle. Um, on the 50th centile, if that means anything to you. Um, but yeah, it's just an absolute guess, really. They can't really determine how big your baby is. I know a lot of women are told their baby's too big, their baby's too small. I'm not going to go into that now, but um, my bump is growing. That's the main thing. And my next appointment will be at 34 weeks. Um, which has been booked for a double appointment. So the midwife will then start to talk to me about birth preferences, where I want to give birth. So we'll probably talk about home birth. Um, and also that is then when they will feel where the baby is lying. So if I need to do anything at home in order to shift baby, um, I'll be able to do that next time. But hopefully, I'm hoping baby is going to be laying in the correct position, head down, um, like my other two babies did in pregnancy, which just made life easier. Um, but if baby isn't head down, there's plenty that I can do to get baby into the right position. So we'll find out at the next appointment. And then she said my appointment after that, which is at 36 weeks, midwife will come to my house and we'll talk about home birth here. And um, I'll probably show her, you know, where I gave birth last time. And also just to discuss what happens if they want to send me to hospital. So the reasons why they might send me to hospital and just so I'm basically in the knowledge um, of everything that could possibly happen. But I am always prepared for a transfer to hospital and I will have my bag ready just in case I know anything can happen. But yes, it will be a chat um, about that scenario. Other than that, there's not really a lot going on. Baby's very active, which is great and really reassuring. I feel baby all the time throughout the day wriggling, especially in the evening. Very, very active baby. Um, I do love an active baby because it's just really reassuring. However, I will say my first baby was very, very active, um, <laughs> which didn't play out well when baby was here because it wasn't a great sleeper still very active, still a very early riser and non-stop. And my second baby didn't really move at all. She was so still and she's definitely more calm and loves to sleep. So I don't know if a very, very overactive baby is a bad sign, but we will see. Hopefully I have a nice, calm home birth and that will calm the baby and everything will follow from there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I am really starting to feel like I'm getting into nesting mode though. So um, starting to wash things, baby grows muslins, get little bits and pieces together. And I will be doing my home birth hospital bag video very soon. Um, 
and just kind of showing how I'm kind of getting bits and pieces together. It's my third baby, so I do pretty much have everything. The only bad mistake I made was after baby two, I got rid of all the clothes. I think I was in denial about wanting a third and I donated all the clothes to our local kids bank. Um, probably just thinking that no, I won't have a third. And then the thought kept creeping back into my mind again. And I thought, oh, I've got rid of everything. I held on to all the baby stuff. So I don't need things like cribs, prams, car seats, all that kind of thing. I've got, it's just all the clothes. I donated them all. So I am doing so much hunting through eBay for bargains. It's amazing what you can get on there very cheaply. Things that haven't even been worn. Um, I got a whole bundle of newborn baby grows. They're all from Next, they've never been worn. Um, I think I got like 17 of them for about 30 quid. So I might do a video about um, kind of all my bargain bits that I've been getting for baby because you can buy a baby on a budget, you absolutely can. But yeah, I'm just starting to do little things and feeling like I want to kind of get prepared and ready. It's coming around so quickly. Um, but there we go, just a quick update. Everything's going really well and I'll see you on my next video and I can, I will film my 34 week update in a few weeks. Uh, see you on my next video, take care guys, bye bye.